Today on the We Need to Talk, we were on a live stream hosted by The Plunge to help raise money for Special Olympics New Hampshire. Now that fundraiser is still going on, so if you missed it, that's okay. It's still going on until February. You can still donate. We'll get the description or the deeply do or wherever you are. Donate while you still can. But otherwise, enjoy this lovely conversation with our friends, The Plunge. We need to talk. So if we Good. get... If we can reach 700 yeah. from our side yeah. and then meter side matches, that will put us at our goal mm -hmm. of 75. Really? Now, if you, were think, if you were thinking about maybe donating, right now is the time to donate. All right, Hunter actually just donated 50? Is it 50? Why'd you send it in those increments? I had stuff in my Venmo, and then I wanted He to sent me $20.93, and then he sent me $29.07. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like even 50. I had Venmo and stuff in my Venmo wallet. I didn't yeah, yeah. want to take 50 out of the, out of the checking. Yeah, that makes complete sense. The important thing is that's $100 right there. It's that 50. Is, now yeah. it's 100. Just like that. That easy. Hell yeah. <laughs> so let's let's get those donations rolling in. So what are we what are we doing here? We doing like a an episode of our show type deal. Yeah, you you guys know, on? We're hanging out. It's the extravagant awesome. eight. We're <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. your hour. Whatever you want to yeah. do, this is your hour. Well, I think with Nate, what Nate and I, anytime we record, we want to be able to put that out as content because that's the way like our time. Yeah, it, when you when you've done hundreds of episodes, you just gotta everything's yeah, content. Absolutely, I can put it out there. Plus, I think that our our fans are really gonna like this episode with you guys on. They've loved every episode you guys have come on. You guys are fucking <laughs> hilarious. So, I still think about the pee hole saga. <laughs> the pee hole saga. I don't oh. know what else to call it, but yeah, I you mean how Nate's. You mean how Nate's pee hole looked like a Stranger Things demogorgon for a while? <laughs> <laughs> so we had we had a couple. Nate and I disagreed about what the topic should be. Okay. Nate, what did, what did you want it to be? So there's one topic where this is something I've been wondering for a while. Like, why is bestiality so overlooked in anime? <laughs> like like hentai, yeah, like hentai and shit too. <laughs> I'm choking right now. That was not what we talked about. You said I want to talk about marriage. Oh, where the yeah, fuck marriage. did bestiality and anime come from? <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, dude, bestiality, hentai, marriage. I I think those are in the same vein, honestly. <laughs> I wanted to talk about Shrek, but I always want to talk about Shrek. So. Oh, I also want to talk about Shrek. Ooh. <laughs> I want to talk about both. It's... Well, we got we got an hour. We can we can bust through some topics here. We got forty five minutes. We can. Bust All right, through so some let's topics. start with the bestiality. <laughs> Obviously. Oh, okay. Obviously. This sounds like it's more intense than it actually is. But you guys watch anime at all? I do. Hunter does. Yeah. Okay, so let's take My Hero Academia. Is that one you've seen? Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm caught up on the manga. Oh, mm -hmm. Okay. Oh jeez. So, in the show. <laughs> Like, I didn't realize we were dealing with a weeb at this level. I'm a, what they call a true weeb. I'm going to be the king of the weebs, Luffy style. So in the show, there is a number of characters who are just animals, right? There's like the mm -hmm. principal who's a mouse. There's mm -hmm. like the uh, this sea lion guy who's just a sea lion. There's a oh, cat. Yeah. I'll get, for all the non-weebs out there, I can translate this for you as a, a weeb <laughs> translator. Um, what that means, what he just said, why do they be giving Lola Bunny that wagon? Okay. Yeah, that's a yeah, really good question. Hold on. <laughs> Pepin, I have a great example, but I need to look up a picture of it real quick. Riley, share my screen. Nate, is your is your you issue that you. there there are oh, these sexy Lola Bunny is my favorite? Oh. Yo, oh, why? Lola Bunny can get it. Bro, why low punny so thick? Low punny is so thick, bro. Why low punny? Why? Why you gotta have a thick low punny? I need Jesus Christ. Low is so thick. Nathan, is your issue that this exists or that it's not explained well enough? <laughs> so it's okay. That's not what I was talking about. What I'm talking about, okay, my bad, is that there. Okay, so t take in my hero. There's like this this dog, and the dog is a police chief. Right, so so that's fine, but they never explore whether this dog has a relationship with anybody else in their series, like romantically, sexually. Like, what does this thing do? Does it just not have intercourse with anything? Is there intercourse with humans? Like, what's going on? Like, is there bestiality and is that normalized in society? 
are they alone okay. forever? Translation. Why is Bojack Horseman fucking people? Yes. Or does he fuck people or only deer? Well, I mean, uh, Mr. Peanut Butter was with Diane. <laughs> Mr. So. Peanut Butter is fucking Diane, so there we go. <laughs> if you really want anthropomorphic animals fucking humans, Nathan, watch Bojack Horseman. <laughs> yeah, no. How do you think? It's all about the Pokemon breeding because Ditto can turn into anything. You 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 like uh, Jennifer Lawrence? Do you think Jennifer Lawrence is attractive? Mm-hmm. Yes, I will say yes. No. Bam! Ditto is Jennifer Lawrence. You can fuck your Pokemon. It could be a woman. It could be a guy. Doesn't matter. Wait, wait, wait. there has to be consent blob. issues there, huh? There has to be consent issues there. You just got to train your Ditto right. <laughs> oh, Christ. <laughs> Just don't put that on a goddamn shirt. You just train your dino right. right with after Jennifer Lawrence. Oh my god, I would be so happy to be sued for that. That shirt right there. I'm trying to find other hot. I want to see what he's googling. What is this? What is that? Oh wow! But Hottest you know, Pokemon hot girl Pokemon, in here. Uh, what, what Rosalia's evolved. She's kind of she's she's Jesus. be looking so pretty. Nate, d- is this where you imagine this conversation going? No, no. We went from like, <laughs> are these are these like animals living in human society that are somewhat humanoid, forced to live alone? Now we're just talking about is this Pokemon hot? Would we fuck a Pokemon? I'd fuck Pokemon. You know what Pokemon <laughs> I would fuck? <laughs> you made that real clear. <laughs> Um, Porygon? What is wrong? With you? <laughs> what? Why? You know why? Yeah, I want to know why. Please. She be wet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, wet ass Pokemon. It's perfect. <laughs> I finally understand the song. It's All right, between we that or Gyarados. We just got a ten dollar donation from a uh, former host and friend of all podcasts, Devious Dave Clark. Still uh, thank you, Davis. House. Awesome. I love you, Davis. I hope uh, I hope New York's treating you well. I hope LA's treating you well. Hell, I hope Chicago's treating you well. Riley, Hi. One, la- one last screen share. Oh, Jesus Christ. What is this? Where any is takers. Oh, any Lord. takers. Lord, what is that? That is not a Pokemon. Someone asked that's you. That's a Geo dude. Yeah, no, that says someone asked, what if Geodude had legs? That's not a Geodude. That's not yeah. any Geodude I've seen. <laughs> Wait, what if Geodude only had legs and no arms? Well, It'd be that... like that pic- that picture of Toad along with the long legs that uh, Patrick Gill was posting around. Wait, so you're, yeah, I guess it's right. Like, why are we, why in hentai porn is there like, there's, there's like octopuses and stuff just being up crevices and whatnot. Like, why is that okay? Well, that's what octopuses do. Yeah, but not your crevasses. <laughs> what do you know? My, my my roommate definitely heard what we're talking about and just sent me this. Yeah, I can't that? see what that is. Is that like a is that, is that diglet with, Yeah. With... But is, I think it's a wormhole. It's yeah, so it's, bright. You're not helping. I don't know, but it's funny. So, uh, that's, a, that's a super good question, though. Why'd they have to make Lola so thick? Lola Bunny, do like, she's got the same low punny little poof too on top of her ass. It's like it's sitting on a shelf. You know. He heard me not know the name. It's Scraggy. Do you want me to look up Scraggy? No, I don't want you to look up Scraggy. I'm looking up Scraggy. <laughs> Your phrasing is fucking next level. <laughs> it's like it's sitting on a shelf. It's so <laughs> fucking funny. Um, I do like I, I I to finish my point. Thank you guys for still running a uh an, a, a thing for us. <laughs> Oh, oh back to that. Yeah, Scraggy. This is Scraggy. Scraggy. Scraggy looks like it belongs in Spyro. No, its on. pants are definitely falling down. What's the evolution? Scragzilla. Crafty. It's just got a mohawk. <laughs> All right. So, what are some other things you guys wanted to talk about? <laughs> we have Dave here. Dave's an intellectual. He can. I think I uh, Nate, Nate wanted to talk about uh, a marriage originally, which I think is a definitely an interesting topic, especially with a married couple on the show. Yeah, I would like to marry my ditto that I trained right. Did you train the, your ditto to look like Riley? I did. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> so I think marriage is evil. I mean, definitely. So you have you have a girlfriend. Mm-hmm. You don't want to get married. <laughs> oh, it all makes sense now. 
<laughs> you know, you never want to get married to her. It just makes for awkward conversations. I mean, she just like brings it up, like, "Hey, you know, look at this ring right here," and it's like, yeah. "Oh yeah, that 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 is a ring." Yep. It's like, <laughs> yes, that, is. That, that is what that is. Is a ring. She's like, "Oh, I really want to get married within like two to three years." I'm like, "Oh, that's cool." She's like, "Oh, Pepin's such a great last <laughs> oh, name." Cool. What's and you're name? like, yeah, "Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is it's really sick." <laughs> <laughs> You should try it sometime, nerd. <laughs> if you can legally change it, but and, and then like whenever like parents and people see you guys together, it's just like you hey, guys are next. Oh, you guys are next. Or, or they want to talk about the child first. So they always want the baby first, and then they talk about you know, you know when you guys kind of like you know uh, tuba style. Do the, do the knot, and it's like do the knot. <laughs> yeah, bro, so it's, it's, the knot you guys are married. Is is marriage evil? From a uh, from an insider's perspective, it's pretty chill. It's pretty chill. I don't even live with the dude. Yeah, we just you know <laughs> we're like that couple that we don't need to share a bed at night because you know we got separate people. bank accounts, separate yeah. taxes. Yes. Yeah, we almost act like we're not married. Yeah. So was this just for like uh, I don't know tax purposes? Uh, it was for this thing that you were on exactly right now. Uh, <laughs> so we're married in spirit. And uh -huh. in the by the Universal Life Church. So so out, outside of the bit a bit, do you guys actually like do you are you more on Pep inside of things where you think that you're not you're not for actually getting married someday? Or is that something you do look forward to doing at some point? I, I think I look forward to marriage. I think it'll be pretty cool. Yeah, marriage would be cool. Depends. I think it all depends on who you marry, obviously. Yeah. Uh, if I married Hunt. I know that would be like every day just stress like, oh, my God. See, the thing with Hunt now? is I'm in it for the long con because he's going to be right. a pharmacist making that dose. Exactly, soon. exactly. Like, I got to take my lumps right now and deal with him as a person. But pretty soon, he's going to be working in that cash, and we're going right. to be able to go on vacations. And, what and the cuddle. fuck is this past two hours? It's literally just – It's been a hunter roast for the entire time I've watched the stream. There's nothing wrong with making – a boatload of cash and having just an okay personality. There's nothing wrong with that, man. Oh. Oh, Hunter, what's it like having a trophy wife? Yeah, yeah. There you you want you want to point her out to me, or <laughs> have you seen my TikTok? <laughs> oh, I can yeah, point my... to a very specific dump truck. I was gonna say my wife got a dump truck ass. <laughs> what kind? Of... Hold on, let me look up dump trucks. I gotta describe. I... Are you looking up hot dump trucks? I think no, he's but I am now. Normal, I think he's looking up normal dump trucks. I was going to look up get, get Hot Wheels here. die cast dump truck. It's probably has flames on, on the fire. side. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely Hot Wheels. Hold on. Good fucking call. Dump truck <laughs> models. Are you trying yeah, to find like models like Riley's like, a women? GMC CCKW 353 dump truck? You wanted a hyper specific dump truck. Yeah, he's got the hydraulic press that is his legs that lead into the dumpy of all dumpies. <laughs> That's so romantic. He just called you a hydraulic press. He sure did. That's how I bagged this, honey. You might honestly be on level of the Cat 772G mining dump truck. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah, look at that bad girl. Now, yeah. Riley, would you want it any other way, though? Um,. Listen, I have this dump truck because I'm overweight, so maybe I'd appreciate a little bit less of a dump truck. Maybe I'd like to be uh, a Cat 448G mining dumper. But a fucking truck real quick before you click away from it. It has a step ladder to get up to the stairs to but get into the cab. Doing step ladder. <laughs> <laughs> Is that something we can talk about? Step sibling porn. Ooh, no, no. Riley, you the seven seven zero G off highway dump truck. <laughs> All right, we've talked about incest porn on this show before multiple times, right? I Nate? bet. <laughs> I have a very strong theory about it. Yeah, I brought I this. I brought. I brought incest porn up and said, "Why is this becoming a thing?" Like two years ago, I was like, right. "Put Why? asses in the seats." <laughs> okay, Nate. What's the theory? So the theory is that incest porn is not actually about, say, incest, but it's rather about, say, close friends and relationships. Because let's say you have, like, a, a friend, and she's a girl, and she's, yeah, like, a, a sister. You yeah, yeah, and, and, but you're in this awkward situation of sexual tension where you can't fuck her. So this is, like, the only situation in porn where there's not porn instantly happening, and there's that tension leading up to the fuck. 
And essentially, she's not your sister. She's actually just your best friend or your friend who you can't fuck because she doesn't like you that much. So but, but that's where you lay into them. The problem with your theory there, Nate, is that they don't say, this is my best friend. They say, this is my sister. What are you doing, step bro? So, like, if if the if the intention is to make it like a friend or someone with that yeah, relation, could easily make a porn like that. Be like, huh, what are you doing? We're best friends. Exactly. Then <laughs> what? There, it's step brother for a fucking reason. Right, right. It's it's for that reason because you can't have porn where you have two best friends that don't fuck just instantly, right? If I've there's never two people seen in a two hot best friends, I ain't never seen two pretty best friends. Well, mean meter. True. We yeah we 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 qualified for that. Jack, but, you uh, won something today. Jack's yeah, saying Jack. that he thinks it's a taboo. It's just the taboo is the reason. I think that's what you said on that episode, Nate. Too. I, I, I agree with uh, Jack and Nate right there. That it's the the thrill of oh I shouldn't be doing this, but I'm doing it. Like I I just think it's the taboo is definitely one thing. So that's that's kind of what's the clickbait aspect to it. But the other aspect is people get into it because they can relate the to the situation. Aspect. Yeah, they, they can relate yeah. to how this is going on because they see that in like say their best friend who happens to be a girl or one of their friends that they want to fuck that they can't fuck because hey we're like brother and sister like they got friend zone. This is the way to get out of the friend zone. What I'm friend zone to a whole other level where I'm literally married to my best friend and I still can't fuck him. <laughs> yeah, so, so uh, there's a wrong point here in the comments from Jack that says Hunter and Riley are two hot best friends. Uh, that's just wrong. We're we're married. Riley's the hot one. Yeah, we can't be best friends. <laughs> uh, Dave, what just happened? Uh, your girlfriend uh, was going to give you some money, but I took it instead. Oh, you have it? Yeah. Is that for a donation? I don't know. It's in it's mine now, so I don't know. <laughs> Can it be for donation? I have no idea. I think Bubba just came in with a donation of a hundred dollars. Yeah. Oh, damn, Wait. hell yeah. Riley, share my screen. It is a donation? Yes. Yes, we uh, have a hundred dollar donation, donation from Bubba. <laughs> so all right, girlfriend. what I would like to do now is I would like to donate one hundred dollars to plunge for a cause. Is that with that <laughs> donation that she is just that, used? Is that the she donation we just you Active. never got a donation. This is just, <laughs> it was in my pocket, and I just feel like uh, I feel like charitable. So there you go. Yeah, wow. Thank you. Hey, no problem, man. You know Thanks. what can I say? Mr. Moneybags over here. Also, Patrick Mahomes has been ruled out. Good. Oh. You know, not good. Sorry. Riley, wow. share Hi. my screen. I got I got to bring us back to the step bro stuff. Okay. okay here we go. <laughs> what is this? Oh, no, I'm stuck. I can't what get are you, out. What are you doing, step bro? No, well, help me. Isn't that backwards? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I accidentally took the out. <laughs> Just replace me <laughs> with incest porn yeah. videos. <laughs> yeah. Same content. It's fine. <laughs> All the same. You're better than porn. Oh, that's so that's so sweet. <laughs> you fill the hole in my life that porn can't. You're you're so you're so nice and and smiley and like upbeat for someone who just got oh. roasted for three straight hours. I Kat can't... just made a, a fifty dollar donation. Oh of hell yeah! Clothing. Oh boy, the, I didn't even the, get a fucking the hood diner. The hood diner. Yeah, shout out to Cash. Shout out to the hood diner. Shout out to What's Poppin', your new favorite Funko collection YouTube channel out there. Go follow What's Poppin'. Also, hey, I forgot to do this at the beginning of the show. It's time for a giveaway. Ding, 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 We're doing ding, ding, giveaway ding, ding, every ding. hour. And I actually think we're going to do two this hour because at some oh, point dude. in these 24 hours, we missed one. I got five. You have five what? Entries. I donated $50. Oh, shit. That's right. Oh, yeah. We got we to update. I'm going to guess the number. It's going to be number 85. I think it's going to be 213. So, hey, before we do this, I want to get Kaz on the phone. Yes, sir. Yeah, baby. Hey, little mom. Um, whisper in your ear. His I name is Homie. Step Cal me, by the way. I have seen the step cow meme. All right, I'm going to call up Kaz, and we're going to do our giveaway. Two, oh, I'm not going to put his number on the internet. Oh, there it is. Wait, is it? No, no, that's a, an itin itinerary, I guess. I don't know what that is. I got it from my dad. Shout out Big Mike. He's big on ice fishing lately. <laughs> All right, we're dialing up Kaz. Kaz is the owner of official Founder and CEO of official clothing and right now we're going to be giving away Kaz 
Hello? Good. Kaz, what's what up, do? man? Where, thank you I'm for in, your donation. I'm, I'm literally watching you guys while I'm taking a shower. Right. <laughs> it's, all, it's all gravy, baby. It's all gravy. Let's do this giveaway, baby. We're doing the giveaway. Uh, I'm, I got to update our sheet with our newest uh, entries. All right, so we're updated now. We have two hundred, oh, yeah. or we have three hundred twenty-nine entries. So we're gonna pick a random number between that uh, one and three twenty-nine. So Siri, Siri, give me a random number between one and three twenty-nine. All right, our number is forty-seven. I swear to God, if A Rich won more clothing. All right. I, I hope. Oh shit! Michael Jackson has won yeah. the not the Michael Jackson think of, by the way. So Michael Jackson, Black Taylor's dad, has won the official clothing bundle. So nice. uh, Black Taylor, if you're out here way. listening, let your dad know he's about to be dripped out head to toe, courtesy of official clothing. Draped uh, out and dripped up. Uh, I will say he's gonna love that. Like hundred percent heart to heart. He's gonna love it. Oh my goodness. Oh, yeah. Well, Kaz, I'll let you get back to your shower. Thank you so much for the donation, and thank you for your contribution to the giveaway. Don't Everybody, go soap. check out Official Clothing. That's official.com, O-H-F-I-S-H-L.com. You, Kaz, you have a beautiful day, you sexy man. You too, man. I'm proud of you guys fucking for doing this shit. And, yeah, man, keep up the great work. Thanks, man. I love you. I love you, Kaz. Ooh. I don't think you can hear you guys. I apologize. I bet you use Old Spice. What an electric – Michael Jackson with the yeah. win. That That's makes awesome. me so happy. That's awesome. So that is Black Taylor's dad. Uh, we received another donation. Oh, we got $20 from Mikey T of Failing Hollywood. Ding, 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 ding. Thank you, for Mikey, for the donation. Oh, we got Will here. What's up, Will? Yeah, Hop on good. the couch. I'll give you a mic. Pu yeah, throw yeah. some headphones on. What mic are you grabbing? Uh, uh, oh, you got a haircut. Right next oh, to you, bud. Right there. Yep. Headphones. All right, yep. Uh, what, what color mic is that? Black? All right. Uh, welcome uh, to We Need to Talk. So, oh, nice. uh, Will, Thanks. Meter here is matching all donations made this hour up to $700. Wow. Meter, you're a good guy. So where, where are we at with that? What are, what's it costing me so far? Uh, let me We only let got me 30 check. minutes left. I want to hit that, yeah. that 700, though. Let me check. Uh, I want to say we're close to 200. Let me see if our Special Olympics fund. I don't get emails if someone donates to that one. Oh, okay, that one's still in the same spot. Uh, currently, we are up to 230. We're right. up to 230. Nice. We're, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. The goal uh, is also, side note, side note, Big Mike has texted me and said we should do the next podcast from his ice fishing tent. So Yo. I just have to put that out there because that's an elite text. I hard agree. <laughs> I love oh, Big my Mike. God. Scary, but I love him. He's not scary. He's a scary. He guy. is the nicest man. He's very nice. I bet he is the nicest guy, but he just I think it's cuz like I'm 6 foot. I'm not really used to looking up to people. But uh, He does carry himself very yeah. large. Yeah. yeah. You say one wrong thing to Big Mike, they're like Big Mike will ask you, "Hey, so did you like the Patriots?" But yeah, they were be like they were actually shit. You're like, oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, Every, you you try to cater to him, and then it, it bit you in the ass. Yeah, you know? just got to be You, you got to be authentic. Be true to yourself, and Big Mike will appreciate that. Big Mike's always trying to feed me a nice-ass meal, though. Like, at any time, like, I see him, like, he's just giving me some really good food. Like, that's how I remember him. I like when that. I was leaving the draft, he he convinced me to wait, like, an extra 10 or 15 minutes to get a corn dog for the road. Like, what a guy. <laughs> like, <laughs> Now, uh, Meter, did you? What are your thoughts on marriage? Are you a big marriage guy? Oh, yeah, back to sorry. <laughs> no, I mean that's a when so completely, completely honest. When when Nate and I were talking about like what topic to do, I'm like, Nate, we have to pick a topic that we know if when we go off way off topic for ten minutes, it's not going to matter. So, <laughs> <laughs> that's it's it's totally par for the course. We do it on our sh on our show all the time. Yeah. No stress. Uh. I, I don't know. I like I like the idea of marriage. I like the idea of teamwork in general. Um, so I think that having somebody who's ride or die it would be an amazing situation to have somebody that you both have agreed like let's just deal with this fucking weird thing called life Steal forever. 
Like, whatever we go through, you're not alone in going through it ever. I like that idea. Yes, but you got to make sure you find the right soulmate person right. for your yeah. till you're comfort your, if you're comfortable doing it. Mm -hmm. Okay, that part's well, big to you. Well, I mean, obviously, like you want to find somebody that you're gonna not hate living your whole life with, and that's you know easier said than done. But it's a give and take, you know. I think it's easy to bail out on things, but that if like you need to put in a lot of work too in order to for it to work, it shouldn't be always easy. It, it can't be. Yeah. Uh, we have a new donation. Awesome. Uh, Chris Wetzke has dropped $150. Oh, to damn, Chris. That's a $300 donation. God, um, also, he has the funniest email I've ever seen for a 40-year-old man. What is it? I don't know if we're about to... Is it, is it Wetzmeister27? <laughs> at... Talk to him right now. You're actually pretty close. It's uh, Chicks Digski. <laughs> <laughs> Chicks dig ski what a wet at ski bomb. blank .com. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> is it Hotmail? It's not Hotmail. Okay. Is it AOL? No. Is AOL still around? Oh yeah, man. The, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have my my Facebook email is actually an AOL uh, AOL email. <laughs> it's uh baseball is my life. <laughs> baseball is my nice. life. Nice. I'm a, I'm a you so much spam. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so, I'm signing Will up for every porn website. You just get signed up for a lot of porn. <laughs> it's not actually even my email; it's my brother's. <laughs> even better. Even I better. better. He uh, said that now, like it would deter somebody. <laughs> now, Meter and Nate, are you a big proponent of uh, paying for porn or uh, what the kids call PFP? I think it depends on the thing. I, I wouldn't say I am. Okay. But if you're super into it, sure. Uh, okay. I know that if you're into specialty type kind of stuff, like super mm -hmm. hardcore BDSM, or if yeah. you are of the movement where you're – like, like a lot of porn's not great with how they handle people and actresses and okay. actors. So there's certain movement out there where it's like trying to support ethical porn, and that's right. going to have a cost to it because they're not making – you know, they're actually paying the actors well. So right. if you're into that kind of movement, I think it's fine. If you're just trying to avoid ads, I think that's fine. Or if you're just trying to uh, uh, have a certain niche you're trying to find, then I think it's fine. Because the more specific your, I don't know, your uh, fetish is, the harder it is. But I think if it's just for general porn, because, like, I'm a very general person with this kind of shit. So I'm just like, hey, you know, whatever's good. But if you're, if you're like that, no. But if you're not, then yeah, I think it's fine. I like this idea of ethical free trade porn. I do like that. Arm to table, free trade porn. Yeah, it's the only type I'll touch. I like that. Did you know that? Uh, Mia, you guys know Mia Khalifa, right? Yes, I do. Yeah. We're all we're all big fans <laughs> of. Mia we know. Yeah, yeah, I, I prefer yeah. I prefer the Malkova to the Khalifa, but yes, Riley, I, I remember I'm you also told me a couple weeks ago. She only got paid like what, a couple thousand? You said? Yeah, for, for like all, all her videos. That? That's, that's not true. Pornhub released how much she made. She made over two hundred thousand dollars. That's still like even that is a little. She ran the world for a year. Yeah, like, yeah. I, I saw that too. Like, four videos. Now mm -hmm. is that on her, or is that? On yes, the that's, that's on her for not reading and that's getting signing a, a bad contract. contract. Mm. Damn. It's like Dave Chappelle. Like, listen, you. You can tr ask people not to do whatever all they want, but you signed a bad contract. Bad contract's a bad contract. You signed it. I should be a lawyer. Try to get those Dave, people you'd be out a great of that lawyer. I'd be a great lawyer? Yeah. I think you'd be Dave, a great Dave, I literally, you have the making of a lawyer. You are the most convincing lawyer slash politician in our friends group that I, I can think of. I think it's because I have a big nose. I think that might no, be. I think it's because you act, what you say, like the way you deliver, it's genuine. Meter, uh, you're articulate. Do you want to be lawyers together? Uh, Sure. Oh, can I hire here? you guys just I'm... for my per PR team when I hit it big time? Do you want to see a cool magic trick? I'm get Riley. I'm gonna keep my hands up here. I I already have the business venture that you guys are gonna represent. Riley, okay. I need you to activate my screen. Did you make art? I did. <laughs> did you make <laughs> art? Porn connoisseurs, Porn club, connoisseurs and club. I like the and LLC. Yeah. It's not LLC. Yeah. And LLC. And LLC. LLC. <laughs> It would be PCC LLC. <laughs> oh, dude, you're so cute. Uh, <laughs> you're trying over there. Bro. I am. I'm trying my best to make content. Yeah. So uh, who said something about Shrek earlier? Oh, that was definitely me. Yeah, you big Shrek guy? Yeah, of course. Shrek is love, Shrek is life? Yes. Okay. All right. I respect that. What is you know the holy words? Wait, wait, wait. One sec. <laughs>
<laughs> What's that? What is um like your big? Have what draws you to Shrek? A Shrek-tastic Friday. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Mike Why Myers. You have a clip for everything. <laughs> Because I am not 12. Because I am not 12. Guess how old I am. I am 25-year-old bloke. I'm a 25-year-old bloke. Old bloke. When bloke. did you discover Shrek? Um, I remember distinctly the first time I saw Shrek. I we were It was a New Year's Eve party. Uh, I was a young... I think I was preteen or young teenager. Um, and... Uh, we my parents went over to their friend's house and they brought us because they're they had kids too and we were all upstairs and shrek was just playing and they were also playing video games which is my jam yeah. so i was like look i was trying to play the video games but i kept looking over at shrek and before i knew it i was just watching shrek it, drew, <laughs> it, drew you in. it sucked you in. all right we just got no, we just got two donations Ooh. Oh. um one from i don't know who this is anna anna fenwell Shout out Anna. Yeah, shout out Anna. Fenwell. Oh, yeah, that's my good friend, Batgirl. Fua, yeah, okay, yeah, Batgirl. Uh, she donated $10, and then uh, we got you. a $20 donation from my other brother with the conditions that we give his dog's TikTok page a shout out. So go follow the Sheba Bros on TikTok, Milo and James Brown, the Shebas. They're wow. coming at you live. Uh, Oh, the Plungeons and Dragons is a football game. That's so funny. I didn't see that. Um, it's caught on. Milo and yeah, the Sheba Bros on TikTok. Go follow them now. They're blowing up. It's hot in the streets. Did you make your own Homer Simpson meme? What the fuck? <laughs> wait, There's wait. no text or anything. It's got to have text to be a meme. <laughs> oh, does Just it? Put Homer and spell it wrong, and it'll be funny. Uh, okay, so yeah, so we okay, just got... no, Riley, it's ready. <laughs> oh man, um, is that a McDonald's uh, sign on the left of you? Homered. There it is. That is. Oh, are you asking about his his Grand Mac? Or, yeah, the Grand oh, Mac. That, Give that's the Grand up. Mac. Look who's beefed up. <laughs> <laughs> Limited like... time, the Grand Mac. It was a bigger Big Mac, um, bigger bigger meat. It's all beefed up. It's for Shoot. batter Larry's. It's for inspiration. Nate, Nate are I you a wait, are you, uh, you McDonald's guy or a Bird King guy? Uh, Wendy's. Definitely Wendy's. Oh, good, yeah. good answer. Good answer. That was good a trick answer. question. You gave him A and B and he picked the correct answer, Steve. You almost got, right. you almost got jumped by a group of ninjas in your room, but <laughs> we called them off. Thank God. <laughs> what an answer. I like that. I'm assuming, Nate, or you're a McDank's guy, I'm assuming. I mean, uh, any of them um, around me, the the Wendy's and the BK are well known for being disgusting. Really, like, oh, in, like inside they don't clean right. Oh, um, oh man! Dude, That's one, time I went, everything going on? one time I went into the BK and it had like you want my, us to call the health department. My shoes like stuck to the floor. It was like <laughs> you could oh, no. hear my feet lifting. It was right. bad. I'm like, nope. So McDonald's is the only place that cleans around here. So that's where I go. To be fair, though, sometimes the best burger spots are the ones with sticky floors. <laughs> that's like one out of ten. But you feel I, like you're taking a I risk mean... eating the burger. It's just it's just <laughs> better. I I'm, I'm talking to Kaz right now, and he so I'm getting him all the info to send the bundle to to Taylor's dad. And he goes, "Oh yeah," and the, and then what's his name? Like I'm not gonna send it to Michael Jackson. Unless like you really want me to, and I was like, no, his his name is Michael Jackson. Like Taylor, his his son is Taylor Jackson. That's Black Taylor, and his Dad Michael. Jazz is like, no, but really. <laughs> oh my God, Hunter, you said you wanted to talk about Shrek Two, Shrek as well. So tell me, why why are you interested in talking about Shrek? Because that is like, if I could look like a single man, mm -hmm. it would be Shrek. I would Obviously. get all the ladies. Oh Obviously. boy, we got a forty dollar donation from William. I assume it's this William, but uh, hey, uh William. Me. Oh, and Black Taylor just joined. What's up, Taylor? Yeah, baby. Oh, how y'all doing today? Good. How are you? Party. So oh, I want you to know the mic's a little fuzzy. It'll, it'll work itself out in a second. You'll so be fine. I have the hey, game on in the background, but I wanted to come and chat. 
Uh, we're here with We Need to Talk, as there's all of us now, and there's plenty of talking. There's eight of us now on this podcast. <laughs> but listen, it's plunging for a cause, baby. We're here to raise money. So yes, Taylor sir. Peter here is matching all donations right now up till $700 made between $700? now and six. Wow. Yes, matching all donations made until six, up to 700 Wow. Also, shout out to Michael Jackson for winning the big official. I, uh, I just, uh, just sent the, the thing to him. I'll let him know. He's very that was excited. A, it was a hot commodity of uh, one of our I, giveaways. I, Taylor, so, I'll let you know, I was gunning for it, so it is indeed a hot commodity. Um, hey, um, since we're on the topic of movies, I, I got a bone to pick real quick. If it's not about Shrek, I'm not fucking interested. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it's in the same realm of Shrek. So DreamWorks? Is it Madagascar 2? <laughs> like, what is are we talking about? Disney. Over the so head. it's not the same realm. You know what bothers me? Is that... Owen Wilson did the voice for Lightning McQueen. <laughs> Different universes, but same spectrum. I'll give it to you. You know, that really bothers it. me. I went to go watch it the other day, and I was like, wait a fucking second. That's wow. Owen Wilson. Yeah. Wow. Hey, you know what? Why Why are there sidewalks in cars? <laughs> Fast. <laughs> Who just asked that? Why are there sidewalks was that you? in cars? I am blown away. Why, why do they even why have did, streets? Why do they have sidewalks? What? Yeah. Or even like street lights. You don't Shouldn't need those. the houses have all been like parking garages? It's a post apocalyptic world where car androids took over <laughs> and they dominate the land. That's feasible. There you go. That's a writer's room. Mm. All right. Oh, well, I'm glad we solved that one. But back to Shrek. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, like, all right. Back to where okay. we should so be. Shrek, yeah. Shrek killed Chris Farley. Let's start there. That That's is not true. Chris, <laughs> at fact. I mean, Shrek is the greatest film ever made. The original Shrek was voiced by Chris Farley, and he died during the, like, Wait, not, like, really? like, not in the, yeah. They have, like, three quarters of the lines recorded by Chris Farley, and then he died because he was speedballing with a hooker. Yeah. He died, and they had to completely redo the, uh, with Mike Myers, and they had to rip everything out and start over because he wanted to use a, a, a different accent. He was trying to do the Chris Farley, and it just didn't work because he wasn't Chris Farley. Is there is the audio out there of Chris Farley Shrek? Yes. Yeah, and they have is like a good? drawn. They have a drawn thing. It's different, you know. Yeah, because like would, it's entirely what, different. Like, what would the I'm world end if we had had a Chris Farley Shrek? Chris Farley and Eddie Murphy would have been a great duo. Right. But oh okay, so God. it killed. So, so it killed Chris Farley. That's now a fact, right? We're we're yeah, all yeah, yeah. on board. Okay. So then, what was the oh, next yeah. great thing that Cameron Diaz was in? She was a fucking huge hot commodity at the time. Oh, she was right. in everything. Then she was oh, in she fucking was in, uh, nothing. What's that, killed, what's that spy movie? Charlie's Angels. That was before. Wasn't she was. Before? Wasn't she in that movie with Ashton Kutcher where she got a oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. or one of those. Yeah, that sounds like a great movie where you can't remember the name of it. Bad, bad <laughs> teacher. Bad was. teacher. That was Emma Stone. No, Emma there Stone. was. Right. Mike Myers, Myers in one of them. on top of the world before Shrek. Yeah. Not very good stuff after Shrek. Uh, no. The Love Guru. Uh, yeah. Cat in the Hat. Sure. Keep going. What no, else hold on. Uh, hold he on was in Bohemian Rhapsody a for like second. a minute and a half. Hold he on. told them that the song Bohemian Rhapsody was too fucking long for radio. I, All right. I have a bone to pick. All right. Pick that bone. Please do not slander the Cat in the Hat movie. That movie was funny as balls. <laughs> cat in the Hat. That, if you're going to tell you the Cat in the Hat is a good movie, Hill, I'm just saying it's funny as there. It's funny as nuts <laughs> the entire time. Good, like no, it is a fever lines. dream of a movie. Hey Tuba, no, no. what I I can actually settle this with um, canonical objective data. Give me Excuse one me. second. Okay. I thought the movie was fucking hilarious. Okay. Yeah. No, you did. Yeah, you did. That's about it. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Nobody because this this movie. is just straight up fact. All right, I'm, uh, is it is it Rotten Tomatoes like one percent? Yeah, it okay. Nine percent on yeah. the tomato meter, yeah. Yeah. and forty nine percent for the audience score. That is a tipped over, not full in any capacity. A tipped over, empty yeah. bucket of popcorn. That's I'm bad. sorry, you guys are not objectively. All right. you have to continue to comedy. continue the murderous rage of Shrek, Eddie Murphy's career. On top of the world. Don't you before. slander Norbit, okay? No, Norbit, Norbit was bad. 
He played every character in Corbin. So he played what did, Fuchsia. What did he do directly Reth, after Reth, Shrek? Reth, Reth, Fuchsia. Fuchsia. Reth, Fuchsia. Directly Reth, after Shrek, he did The Adventures of Pluto Nash, the worst box office all time. Coming to America 2. Listen. And if it wasn't a sequel or a Shrek movie, after Shrek, Eddie Murphy's career was... It killed everybody's career. Smash Mouth. They were on top of the world. Hey, they hey, were hey, they were hey, hey, Smash Mouth came and did uh, Spring Fling at my college. <laughs> That's amazing. After Shrek, and they played All Star three times. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. You're joking about that. Actually, incredible. They played. Did did. Were the crowd demanding it, or did they choose? Did was that part bit of, of your both? Sentence? Like it was one of those where like they could have avoided. They were like, "What was it?" They, like they're like, "No one says anything." They're like, "Someone say All Star." <laughs> <laughs> it's like the Cantina band. Like any requests, the same song. It got it got the coveted double encore, the double encore <laughs> All Star. Like, uh, everyone's like. No. They're like, that, did someone say encore? They're like, no one said anything. They're that, like, what that was that, scene, All-Star again? Real quick, real quick. Real quick. Jack, uh, Jack the Sexy Queen, shout out to Jack real quick. Appreciate you. Jack that's, from, uh, from yes. uh, your friend group. Yes. That same song. About what? What are we all talking star. about? Jack? I'm just saying shout out to him, that's all. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> yeah, shout out Jack. Sex to me, that's all. I'm sorry. Gotcha. Back to you. That same song, All-Star was also and was first in uh what's the superheroes movie the shitty superheroes uh sky oh, high no zoom no Hold wait on. which wait what's what superhero movie talking about uh the one with uh the bowler and spleen bowling for soup oh i know what you're talking about i love history that. man no but yes yes yeah so the the music video for all star is the mystery men is a clip from mystery men with like dane cook in it and they that came first. on top of the world. Then, then they put, uh, they had Smash Mouth songs in Clock Stoppers for, which was a Disney Channel thing. Then it went to Shrek, and nobody ever cared about anything that Smash Mouth ever did again, because Shrek was the murderer. Shrek murdered everybody's career who touched it. You know why? Because they created the pinnacle of cinema, so everybody involved just called it quits. That nobody could top it. Like, where do you go when you're at the top? You can only go down. down. They, they yeah. had, no, they, it went down after Shrek 2. It's they, lonely at the top, bro. Shrek 2 is arguably the greatest movie ever made. But yeah, Shrek so 1 Shrek, was Shrek 2, Shrek 3rd, and then the fourth one was just terrible. Is Which one has you accidentally after? in love? Uh, I think the first. No, that was two. That was two. No, no, no. Okay. So, you know, um, you know, uh, Hallelujah. Leonard Cohen? Yes. Yeah. Anytime someone hears that, they're like, oh, the song from Shrek. Yeah. That's oh, cool. what, a, what other song? That's an amazing song. And that's yeah, what I know it as. Oh, Butterfly. But uh, was it Butterfly Boucher or something like that? Mm -hmm. uh, I forget the, the name of the song. But yeah, Butterfly Boucher makes one and she took over like a, a and made it Shrekified. Shrek one was so good. Dude, they, Rick, Ricky they, Martin? They had Livin' La Vida Loca. When I think Livin' yeah. La Vida Loca, I think, I think Shrek, Shrek, which I hate myself do for doing, but I do. Like Bad I, reputation, I like, John Jett? I just think of them, uh, the Cubans down the street for me. That's all I think about. Meter, I sent specifically, I think you may find this as a good video. I think it's a 30-ish, maybe 20-minute uh, video. It is a 15-minute video. Uh, video essay on why Shrek the original is the greatest movie in cinema cinematic no cinematic history cinematic history thank you You're welcome. I will I will definitely watch that if I haven't already um Shrek was so good they had to make <laughs> they had to make their own it was the first they had to make a new category at the awards you know ceremony something here? it has its own ride at Universal now can you tell me Go what you think it about does. the bench warmers Mm. Great the bench war that that is a is a funny movie uh i think it's a it's a it's a good solid movie but 
Not as a lady I mean, it's not track, obviously. Not track. <laughs> also, <laughs> hey, everyone out there, anytime. we have four minutes left for the meter match until six o'clock hits. But, We're currently but, sitting at four hundred and fifty-three dollars raised in this hour, uh, which means we have two hundred fifty dollars of meter match we can get up to. So if you get those donations in, if you plan on donating at all tonight, get them in now. And guess what? We're gonna do a giveaway. Um, g g g giveaway. You guys want to give away? Uh, so right now we're gonna attempt to give away a year of podcasting. Uh, we're gonna attempt. Which, if anyone in my family wins, we're gonna give to Mikey and give them a T-shirt. So <laughs> uh, sounds good. I gotta add Will to our sheet. Uh, guys, where can they find your show? Thank you so much for joining us here and meter. Of, uh, I mean, thank you so much for the match. And we're looking forward to seeing you in February. You're going to be doing the plunge with us. Our team has grown from four people last year to we're currently sitting at 14 with enough money to fill, like, five more people. So, like. That's awesome. Thank you guys for all you do. You guys have put in so much work. And now it's over the course of two days. Um, the Elite Eight, baby. Super <laughs> professional, eight. everything you guys are doing. It's like so. WrestleMania. It's too big for one night. Exactly. Give me a number between 1 and 339. 339, wow. We are giving away a year of podcasting with Podbean right now. The number is 297. The winner of the year of podcasting goes to an actual podcaster, Beth and DJ from The Untrained Eye. Yeah. I was terrified this was going to be like, and Auntie Diane is the new winner of a year of podcast. Oh, no. I got a picture from the cat person. Again. The cat person? Yo, can we talk about this before we leave? Someone has been texting photos of a cat with instead of a butthole, it just has balls where the butthole is supposed to be. They've been texting photos of this to me, Black Taylor, and A Rich. Only us three. It's an Alabama phone number. So we. It has to be someone in our circle, but we don't be. know who. Wait, it, like Jason, Jason Almay. That's my guess. Jack. If, Jack. I, my guess is Jack or Jackie. It's one of the Jacks. <laughs> now, I don't think it's Jack. Cat balls. Jack cat balls. Cat balls. Balls. Cat. Oh, is that the Nickelodeon? <laughs> Jack, Jack has no though. reason to send it to A Rich. True. Yeah. Oh. How would he have gotten A Rich's number? He wouldn't have his number. He's not in the same group chats. Yeah. See, that's why I don't know. It's like not that big. Um, anyway, Nate, well, thanks so much for your input know. on all of yes. us. Nate, thank too. you for being here. Uh, <laughs> Nate, we, Meter's going to individually pay for you now to do the Penguin Plunge if you'd like to join us. <laughs> that sounds intense. <laughs> We're going to be in a tent. Ooh. Riley's bringing his dad's heat tent. Yeah, Big Mike's that's fishing tent great. will be at the beach because they're making us do it ourselves this year because of COVID. Well, that's kind of cool because we're going to be able to, like, film it properly and, mm -hmm. like, do whatever we want without having to get releases from people. It will be sick, yes. Um, so I'm excited to have you. I'm excited to have a lot of the podcast New Hampshire people, a lot of our plunge team. Like I said, last year we had four people, and this year the fact that we've now five times outraised what we did last year, which is just, you know, we can't thank everybody enough for all the help and support they've been giving um so uh what's that what's that final number i'll put it in right now uh okay so listen here guy it is 559 <laughs> <laughs> uh the final number of the meter match is 450 oh my god i got a text from the balls cat again god damn it <laughs> Oh, but now it's laying in the sun. You wait. You got another one? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't get one yet. Oh, I'm going four times <laughs> from Walt's cat. Riley, I bet they're listening right now. Dude, they might be listening. They Dave is. Is listen. that your girlfriend? Yeah, is she been texting us Walt's cat? <laughs> what the fuck? Um. Is okay. Is it Lauren? It's not Lauren. No, Lauren doesn't have Walt's cat. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome. To not justified, I would like to clear my girlfriend's name here. Um, she <laughs> has not been doing it. You have the Just Dave guarantee right there. That's fine. Um, All right. Uh, okay. okay, it's, it's now it's 6 o'clock. Let me tell you. It is hilarious. It's 6 o'clock. Meter, the number is $453.37. Wow. 37. Um, wow. Well, what a fucking hour. Yeah. Jesus Christ, everybody. Thank you so much. I love uh, you guys. 
It is six o'clock now. Uh, we're gonna take a quick break. Where can they find you guys? Where can they find your show? Social media? Uh, at Facebook at We Need to Talk Show or Twitter.com slash WNTT1. Or uh, wherever you listen to podcasts, just put in We Need to Talk, and it's a picture of uh, Nate and I's heads as microphones with We Need to Talk, and it's orange. All right, and we'll be back in just a minute. Go follow the lads. Thank you, guys. Peace. I love you. Also, you guys can hang around if you'd like. We're just doing a plunge hangout for closing ceremony. So, yeah, we'll be back. Que vem, que passa Um doce balanço caminho